Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna be rebuilding and pressing new bearings into the stands wheel that I have. So I pulled the bearings out and I'm actually gonna be using this really cool wheels manufacturing press today. So they were kind enough to send out a few tools for our new shop that we're gonna be building in the next couple months. And I just wanted to show you how cool this thing is because it's my first time using it. And today when I saw that the bearings all matched up, I was like, oh my God, I gotta make a video on this. The way it works is that there's all these different corresponding spacers. They actually match up to the most common mountain bike bearings you'll find. I have some of these new bearings that I'm going to be pressing into the stands wheel, and these are stainless steel 6902. So all I need to do is I go down onto my press and I look for 6902. And then what's really cool is that the bearing and the spacer meet up perfectly on the inside and outside diameter. And then all I need to do is take this press that they send and it has a bunch of different spacers on it and then we're just going to press the bearing in. This isn't really a review, I just was really stoked to see that I had the right um, size tool for once in my life and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and do this. First thing I'm going to do is just put some grease into the hub shell and just kind of get this ready. All right. <clears throat> so now we just got to get our press ready. Usually I drop all my tools, so we'll see if I can avoid that this time. All right, so the way I'm going to do this is, is I'm going to find the hub spacer that is the closest to the end of the hub shell. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on this side first. Then we're going to slide this through my bearing with my 6902 spacer. I'm going to throw this on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some speed spacers on. These just reduce the amount of threads that this little head has to travel on. So just kind of speeds up the whole process. And okay, make sure it's all centered and just press away. Cool. Sweet. There it is, I dropped my first tool. <laughs> cool, so now I'll show you guys. If you guys look in here. That bearing is perfectly pressed. It's in there straight, it spins freely, and that's a big thing. I'm usually used to using sockets or whatnot, and uh, you can get things crooked, but yeah, perfectly pressed. So now let's go ahead and do the rest of the hub. Um, I'm going to use my 6902. I'm gonna leave that on this one here. And then on this side, I have another 6902 spacer. I'm gonna go ahead, put this through on this 6902. Then on this side, I just gotta make sure I have my axle spacer. Throw that on there. If you don't use speed spacers, it still works just fine, it looks like. Um, but yeah, there we go. I'll show you guys. Cool. So now, as you can see, I have this spacer or this bearing pressed in perfect and this bearing pressed in perfect. Pretty cool. Super easy. All right, cool. I hope this video was helpful for anyone who's been thinking about getting a bearing press or just kind of curious what one of these is. Um, it saved a ton of time on this hub rebuild. And I don't know about you guys, but I love saving time. And usually I would have been out here with sockets and hammers and trying to bang stuff in, but that in, went in super easy. It was really smooth. Everything spins really great. Um, and yeah, I'm stoked on it. So. Thank you to the guys at Wheels Manufacturing for sending this out. I really appreciate it and we're stoked to have more tools like this. I think anyone who has a bike shop or if you're kind of trying to get one going out of your backyard or something or garage, um, this will save you so much time. So they are expensive because they're really nicely made CNC'd and like all made in America. But I think it's worth it if you're in this position and I was hesitant to ever buy one, but now that I have one, I'm super stoked and I don't think I'll ever go without using it on a project like this. But yeah, thank you to Wheels Manufacturing for sending this out again, really stoked. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know and I'll put a link in the description below um, to this little bearing press. So yeah, thanks guys, talk to you next time and let me know if you kind of like this little video, um, highlighting some tools and whatnot. This one's a lot easier to make than on our other channel, so a lot less time and I'm happy to do more of them. But thank you guys, talk to you later.